Last week I felt that I'd had a quite a good performance. You know, and it's about being consistent week in week out. And you know, that's when things start to happen for a player. And uh, you know, every play, you know, you saw McCasker had a couple of um, a good run last year. Was consistent, and he reaped the rewards at the end of the season by going on tour. You know, me and him were good friends, and you know, I applaud him for the work he put in last year. You know, and for myself, it's about doing the same. Really, putting my head down, working hard. Know, and uh, getting the game time, but being consistent while I'm on the field. I mean, you look what happened to Rob, you say, and he stayed last year, he was playing for Knecky, he was pro level, and then all of a sudden he was playing his golf bats in the summer. Yeah, I mean, me and him were quite similar. I was up, he was down to Knecky, I was up in Sandbury, yeah. and then both both of us, midway, well, a couple of months in, we were both playing for the region. And, you know, unfortunately for me, I had a, had a five week ban, which meant I wasn't able to participate in some of the bigger games. You know, give Rob a, Rob a great opportunity to go out there and perform, and uh, he took it with both hands. So you know, it's, it's about me now going out there and every opportunity I get, taking it with both hands and uh, playing to the best of my ability. Because obviously with Dav's injury at the moment, there are opportunities for games at the moment. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a, there's a lot of competition in the back row there. You know, we've got um, Rob who's been playing played eight in the last couple of games. You know, because Dave's had a couple of injuries, uh, Jonathan Edwards. Yeah. You know he's playing. He's playing really well at the moment as well. The, unfortunately, Dad's injured, and Johnny F's there thereabouts as well. You know, and we've got some versatility as well. A lot of us can play in more than one position, which is really good for the good for the team. What's your favourite position? Um, I was saying that last year I played seven, and I probably had my most consistent games at seven last year. And you know, I played all across the back row. I played eight in the LB games last year. I played six with the Magnus, and played seven in the Heinekens. And then probably the best consistent games I had last year was when I was playing seven in the big games. So, you know, it's about raising your standards every time you play. Um, personally, uh, uh, six or six or seven really at the moment. Why is it that it's not going out on the bat towards the end of last season? You were a top prospect as a number eight. Um, possibly in a couple of years. Uh, I don't, uh, personally, at the moment, I don't feel like I've got the, the size to play eight. Um, I'm a bit more. Dogged player, I'd personally say. I like to get my head in the contact area, yeah. you know, and get my head in there. Whereas Nate is, yeah, you know, yeah, quite yeah, a big ball carrier. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, different aspects of the game, you know. Possibly as I move on, maybe later on in my career, I might move move there. I don't know, you know. But yeah. at the moment, I'm enjoying playing rugby as a flanker. Yeah. Where are you actually from? I'm originally from Newcastle, Emlyn. Um, grew up there, played my rugby there until I was about 16, and then, you know. Uh, I spent a little while with um, Commander Quinns and then um, eventually I made my way into the Snessy team and from there within the following season I was with the region. So yeah. that was about four seasons ago now, I made my debut against Exeter away in a pre-season friendly. And uh, you know, didn't play the rest of the season but from then onwards when Nigel came in, you know, I've had my opportunities, you know, and uh, it's been it's been good. Do you consider yourself the young level coming playing I'm talking to someone who's who's here now and Saying that I've been here three three years now, you know, there was this thing last year we had a lot of young players, but I think a lot of us matured over the last two or three seasons and have had to stand up and be counted for. You know, we've had to play some big games in the Heineken Cups, and uh, you know, we've had to learn 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 the hard way. And I think this team will reap the rewards because we've because uh, we've played with the youngsters and we've been given a, given a chance. You know, I think it'll pay dividends in the end. I don't think that age matters at all. It's, it's, it's if you're old enough and you're good enough, then you know. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a lot of young players coming through the system down there. And I think we've got to, sometimes those the younger players are less fearful than the older ones, and they'll, they'll take the game to the older players. So you know, it's about taking opportunities together.